Hey guys, welcome back to the Webdimenters YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about classes in Python. So jumping into object-oriented programming in Python. So please try to concentrate on it because sometimes you might think that okay I missed something. There's something going on in the air and I don't understand it. Well Python is easy but sometimes you just lose the track of it. So how to create a class in Python. So the biggest and the very important keyword is nothing but class. Class space the name of the class that you want. So I always start a class with the capital letter so that's some kind of a you know standards that we follow in Python. So let's see what, what to create user. Now this started an user class. Now you can create variable for the classes and also definitions that is the functions for the classes before creating any other function let's create an initializer function so def underscore underscore you can see that it came already so it starts with self and then you just don't have to write anything in here if you're not doing anything so we assign values to the self that is nothing but the user itself from here so like self dot name user like this self dot uh, address somewhere sorry about that ah now this is how you initialize it let's actually create the sorry about that yeah my user is equal to user now, is this enough? Not really. Let's actually use this and user, sorry, my user dot name. You can see that it's already coming in my, ooh, sorry about that. It's already coming in my suggestions. Now, let's see whether it's working fine or not. It is working. Now, why do you need a self? Self is nothing but itself. You know, I'm just assigning value to myself. That is what self is. So self dot name, nothing but creating a variable for the self, myself, user, creating a variable for the user, and then an, another variable for the user and assigning some value to it. Now you can go deeper into it by like using name address in here. And assigning them in here. So name address. Now what to do in here? So it's going to be user. I'm just going to stick with the same thing, some there. Let's see if this works or not. It works. Let's actually change it to address. Run it. You can see that it's working fine. Now this is how you create a class. Let's actually add some function to it. Def, what to say, like, let's see. Mm, display name. Okay, so again self is there. You don't have to do anything. Print self.name. Sorry, self dot name. So this is how you access the variables of itself. So this is how we do it. Now I'm going to do is display name. Run it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't have to use the print in here because you are using the print. You can return name in here if you want to print it. Now when I run it, you can see that. So I want to create like set name comma self dot name is equal to name now this is called as value setter so set name what I'm going to do is that dev mentors now let's call it twice in here my user dot display name once in here and my user dot display name here. 
okay so let's run it you can see that the changes has been made now this is how you write a class and then assign values to it based on you know the initializing itself while initializing itself you can assign values or else you can create a method for initializing the values now what happens if I do something like this and my user dot name is equal to hello my user dot display name run the function you can see that the changes is also happening now this will happen because all myself or else the variables are public what happens if I make them private or else you know much more protected in that case it will be very difficult to handle now you can't do anything like that you know we just can't assign some values in here just like that so we will be seeing that later on in our codes or else the series so that you don't just get confused by all these things in one single video so try to play around with this one let's see what you get if you kind of you know get stuck into some kind of issues please let me know in the comment section well, let's see in the next video guys thank you for watching this video please hit the like button and also the subscribe button if you have any issues comments suggestions or feedbacks please leave them in the comment section or else you can contact me through the Facebook page Google Plus page and Twitter feed and you can find the link for them in the description section of this video thank you for watching let's see in the next video keep watching the series